If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. When purchasing a fixed asset, attribute any amounts spent or borrowed to buy the fixed asset directly to its original cost subaccount. For example, if you took out a loan to buy a fixed asset, assign the value of the loan to the original cost subaccount for the fixed asset when entering the original amount of the loan into the associated long-term liability account register. You could also enter a journal entry to set the initial balance for both the accounts. This works well to record funds given directly to a vendor by a lender on your behalf as the money never actually enters your checking account. However, if you actually received money from a loan that you then used to purchase a fixed asset, you can record the deposit of the funds into the checking account from the loan and attribute the funds received to the correct long-term liability account to set the value of the long-term liability and increase your checking account. Later on, when you write the check from your checking account to purchase the fixed asset, you attribute the check's amount to the correct original cost subaccount for the fixed asset within its Category Details section. That then sets the original cost for the fixed asset. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.